Hey guys, it's Sharon here, and as promised, I am here with my second Hobonichi haul for 2017. And I went ahead and took everything out of the big uh, envelope. But here is the lovely pink bat box, as always. And then, of course, the pamphlet that we've, that we've always seen came inside the envelope. And we've seen this before, so I'm not going to bother unfolding it or anything since I showed it last time in the video. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and open up the box. And, of course, we have the little poem on the front there. And um, let's go ahead and open everything up. So here is what everything inside the box looks like. I'm going to take everything out and we'll go ahead and show it to you one at a time. So I'm going to just slip everything out. I got quite a few items this time out. We'll put the box aside. Okay. So first of all, I went on to the archive store and I got a couple of covers uh, from last year. This cover is the... I believe this is called the Run, Run, Run cover. And this one is for the uh, A6, I believe. We'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging. And pardon the crinkling. This is the Run, Run, Run cover. And here is what it looks like on the inside. You got some little papers in here, a um, little card in here that talks about it, I think. And we got the little pockets, of course, to put things in. And it comes with the with two bookmarks, and uh, I really like these. These are these are nice nice bookmarks, and it's got uh, it's got these two little decorative things on the on the ends of them. So a little different than the last cover that I got, but this one it feels really. Uh, I don't want to say like felt, but it's it's kind of got it's kind of fuzzy. It's got the little bunnies on it, and uh, it feels real really fuzzy. And I think I'm gonna have to kind of be careful with this cover because, um, and I've heard a lot of people say that this one can attract a, a, a bit of lint. So um, I think when I use this one, it's going to be used with the cover on cover because um, I want to keep I want to keep it nice, and um, I really don't want to have like dust and everything on it. So that is the run 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 cover for the A6. Next is an A5 cover. Uh, I believe they call this the Umbrella Shop cover. And this is for the uh, A5 Cousin. And I'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging. So again, pardon the crinkling. And I guess I really didn't realize it, but this is a, a zip cover. So um, I'll show you what the little zipper looks like right there. If you guys can see it. And the zipper apparently works really nice on it. Not stiff at all, actually. And here is what it looks like on the inside. We'll take off the the padding. And it's got a it's got the little silicone thing in there. It's got a mesh pocket. Kind of a little mesh pocket. And then this uh this I guess is where the, the book cover goes. And then it's got the uh two bookmarks. And these, again, are a little different than what the other cover I have is, as far as the de uh, decorative stuff on the end of the bookmarks. And then it's got a couple little papers that talk about the, the cover, the artist, and stuff. So that is the Umbrella Shop cover for the A5 Cousin. And it kind of feels kind of like nylon. Um, a little bit nicer than my blue cover, I think, but um, it's got... It's got kind of a nylon feel to it, I think, and um, it's got the pocket in the back. So I think I would probably use a cover on cover with this one as well, which I am actually gonna have to get one because I don't have a cover on cover for the um, A5. And, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slip this A6 cover on the inside of it just to kind of keep things a little nicer. So that um, those are the two covers that I got from the archive store for, um, the 2016 Hobonichis, and I really liked them, so I wanted to go ahead and get them. I thought they were really pretty, and I wanted something just a little bit, um, I don't want to say a nicer, I guess, because my blue cover is pretty, but I wanted something with a little bit more um, pizzazz to it. So, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and get these covers, and, and I like the, I, the, the, get tongue-tied. I like the ability to actually change out my covers from time to time, because I get, I get bored with just one cover, so... It's nice that I have a few more options to uh, choose from. 
Okay, next. Now, I got to thinking that, um, you know, I love the A5 size for my creative outlet, but I actually got to thinking that um, I probably should do an a VEC for the creative parts because, as you guys know, when you use the Hobonichi and you put stuff in it, um, it tends to get really bulky. So, um, the Avec, let me go ahead and open it up. So, pardon the crinkling again. Now, those of you that don't know, the Avec comes in two different books. You get the first half of the year in this book, so it goes through January through June, and then this is going to be July through December. And it just makes it nice because it makes it a little thinner. It's still got the same delicious Tomoe River paper in it. Um, you get the you get the same daily pages that you would get in the regular cousin. And in the front, uh, you get the you get the uh, monthly and the year at a glance, uh, the year at a glance, and the monthlies and stuff. And I think in the in the AVEC, if memory serves me correctly, um, oh, they did add the oh, they did add the weekly sections to the AVEC. Um, used to, I think. Now I've never had an AVEC before, so this is my first AVEC for uh, 2017 um, that I'm going to be using. And um, I think in the past, in the AVEC version, they didn't have the weekly pages, but. Um, they've added those in because I guess people were wanting that. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and get the Avec to actually use as my creative um, outlet instead of the regular cousin. Um, now, I do have the regular cousin um, for 2017 that you guys saw in my first haul. So I'm going to put that to another use and then use the Avec for the creative um, outlet just because it's not going to bulk up so much. Okay, and because I got another planner. Um, they, I got another toast plate and another pen um, as the free gift to go along with that planner. I'm not going to take that out because we've already seen that before. I showed that in my previous haul. And then the next few items I got were uh, just some other accessories and stuff to go with my Hobonichis. I got another pencil board for my Avec. Again, I won't take it out because we've seen that in my previous haul. Now, um, these are some notebooks. I think these are for the A6. And I'll go ahead and take them out of the packaging so that we can see them. Okay, so there's three little notebooks for the uh, three little memo pads for the A6. And um, these, I believe, are um, it comes in these three colors here. And these, I believe, are made of the Tomoe River paper, and this would just go inside your pocket and your Hobonichi to have some extra paper to um, to write. And it looks like it's perforated, so you can actually tear these sheets out, like if you need to write a note to somebody. So um, that's one of them. And then they just all look the same. They they just have the different colors on them. So those are the A6 little memo pads. Next, I got the same thing for the weeks. These are the uh, memo pads for the weeks and I will go ahead and take them out so we can see them. And it comes with these three colors. Now there's two different versions of it I guess. There's these plain ones and then there's ones with designs on them uh, but those apparently are sold out for a while so I'm gonna maybe try to if I do another order I'll go back and try to get them uh, at a later date. Um, it seems like with the Hobonichi store, um, certain things just really run out of stock very quickly, which uh, which kind of sucks. I wish that that didn't happen, but it does. But anyway, so these are the three little memo pads for the weeks. Again, it's the same Tomoe River paper. Um, this just goes inside the, the weeks. Uh, same kind of deal. Uh, looks like there's some perforated pages to tear out if you need to write somebody a note. Um, you can, you can um, undo those if you want to. Um, and if you have a cover on cover, I think that would just uh, kind of slip inside your week's calendar. Um, or it might even fit in that little back pocket if you um, inserted that in your, um, in your weeks. So those are the three little memo pads for the weeks. And I also got the memo pads for the cousin. Um, I can stick one inside my Avec and then one inside my um, regular cousin. And these come with two of them. It comes with this cream-colored looking one, and then it's got um, this 
it's kind of looks black, I think, black or navy. Uh, can't really tell in this light. I think it's black. But um, these are the same thing. These just go in for the um, A5. And again, it's the Tomoe River paper. You can slip that um, one of these notebooks inside your pocket and have some extra paper to take some notes or something on if you need to write down something extra. So um, these I don't think are perforated. Uh, it, it doesn't look like. So these just um, remain inside the notebook. I suppose you could cut them out like if you had a, a scoring tool or something, but yeah. Um, but So I wanted to go ahead and get the memo pads for all of my um, Hobonichis. Now these next things kind of intrigued me, so I wanted to go ahead and grab these things. Now these are some little folders for the A6. I tried to get the ones for the cousin, but again, they were out of stock, so I wasn't able to grab them, but we'll go ahead and open these up. All right, so as I was saying, these are three little file folders that you can use with your A6. It has three different designs. The package came with three different folders. And so you can just put these inside your cover and tuck little papers and stuff away. Um, should you need to, just be careful how much you stuff it because these kind of feel like they might break a little easy if you're not if you're not careful with them. So um, I think these are really cute. And uh, I'm gonna tuck these just away inside the pocket, the back pocket, so that I can have some extra room. Um, I think you can tuck like little receipts and stuff in here. So um, those are very cute. Um, I wanted to try to get some for the cousin as well, but as I was saying, they were sold out. So um, I decided to go ahead and get these and see how I liked them and just see how useful they were gonna be. So um, these are very cute. I'm glad I picked them up. And then these last two things also intrigued me. Um, I got some tabbed notebooks, or I got one tabbed notebook. Um, this is the polka dot version and it's the A5 size. So um, it's, um, designed to accessorize with your cousin or your avec or your cousin avec. We'll go ahead and open it. All right, so it's got uh, kind of a cardboard little polka dot cover. And I guess there's a striped one that you can get that has uh, graph paper, but this is blank paper. There's the inside of it. And what you apparently can do is punch out these little tabs and you can make little sections out of them. Um, that um, is going to help you kind of organize your notes and stuff. But there's some little things on the side where you can kind of feel where you can punch out the different tabs and you can punch them out anywhere you want to and um, make it so that things are easier to, to flip to. But um, these are uh, these are not perforated pages. This is a notebook that's designed to stay together, it looks like. And um, this is just uh, for some extra note taking if you need to... Um, this would be good, I think, like if you're a bullet journaler and if you want to have like different tabs for your collections and, and things like that. So um, that's very cute. Um, now there is a striped one, as I said, which has um, grid paper, graph paper, but I was not able to get that because it was sold out. <laughs> so I'm going to um, use this and see how it goes. The paper in here is not Tomoe, R Tomoe River paper, but it feels very nice and smooth. I think this would probably hold up to fountain pen pretty well. Um, I don't know what it is about the Japanese, but they just have the nicest, nicest paper. So, um, I got to commend them for that. And then the last thing I got is the Hobonichi papers. And, uh, there's two different designs on these. We'll go ahead and take it out first and then I'll tell you. There's two different designs on these and I was able to get the, I think this is called the Friends one. And then there's another design um, that I actually wanted to try to get, but they were sold out. <laughs> it just kind of seems like a lot of the stuff I wanted to get were was sold out. So I had to do some substituting, but that's okay. Um, this is a very cute cover and um, it's kind of a, um, a soft bound cover. There's what the back looks like. And this is just another little notebook to write some things down in. It's not Tomoe River paper, but it feels very nice and smooth. Uh, the paper itself has little designs on it, and apparently you can rip these out very easily. So if you need to um, write some notes or something and give to somebody, you can do that. Um, this, I think, would fit inside one of the A6 covers. So you could uh, use this as a, 
a, a purse notebook or something, um, just a, as an extra memo pad. So, um, I thought this was very cute. I've never had anything like this before. Um, so I, I wanted to get a few things and just try it out. It lies flat, which is great. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I will let you guys know how I'm liking that. Um, I think I'm really going to enjoy that. I've really liked the little design on there. It's very cute. All the papers look the same, um, same design. I don't know how many pages are in here, but it looks really thick, so you're going to have quite a lot of paper um, that's going to last you for quite a while, I think. And, uh, yeah, I really like it. So that is my uh, second Hobonichi haul for 2017. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and um, line everything up. So we have the A5 Umbrella Shop cover. And inside here, I have the A6 Run 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 cover. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the Avec, I think, um, off camera. Here is the Avec itself. The pencil board for the Avec. The memo pads for the cousin. The three memo pads for the weeks. And the three memo pads for the A6. The little file folders for the A6. The A5 tab notebook the Hobonichi papers, and of course the toast plate and the pen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and um, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more like this, um, hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. All right, got to go answer the phone. Bye, guys.